Okay, I've done both of the ball bounces in Maya now, so I'm going to show you how to work in After Effects. That's what we're looking at here right now, After Effects. Uh, it looks exactly the same in Windows as it does in Mac. So um, this should look fairly familiar with you. Um, you know, so I have my reference footage there. And then uh, what I did is I went and created um, my, um, my rotoscope. So let me just show you that really quick, um, how to load a file um, into, um, into After Effects. So um, if I go to Images here and open that, um, we should be able to see... Actually, I stuck it in movies. My apologies. Um, and here's my reference footage. So I'll load that in and show you what it looks like. There we are. Okay, so um, if I just play that back, you can see. Oh, look, you can even hear the sound for it. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so now um, let's talk about how to put it together um, from coming out of Maya. So what you have to do is you have to right mouse click in the project bin here and you're going to choose import file. And then what you do is you go to your images folder in your project and you select uh, one of the images from one of the movies that you want to work with. So in this case here, this is the left ball. So I'm going to hit open and then you'll see that that has brought that into uh, After Effects here. I can double click on it and see it here. And you can see that that is actually there. Yay. Okay, let's do the same for the right ball. So right mouse click, file, or import file. And we'll go and scroll down here, grab one of the right ball images. And, and you'll notice that it's automatically figuring out that this is a JPEG sequence. So you don't have to do anything but select one of the files from the sequence. So I'll hit open. And there is the second one. So we've got the right ball and we've got the left ball. So the question is, what do we do with them? Well, they're both the same length. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a composition and put them together into the same composition. And then I'll use a mask to actually um, you know, show the two of them at the exact same time. So I'm going to click on both of the files here, uh, left ball bounce, I should have named them exactly the same, uh, and right ball. And then I'm going to click them onto this new composition button. It's the third button from the left. And it's going to say, do you want that as a single composition? Yeah, I do. And I do not want to sequence the layers. That's important. So make sure you turn that off and then hit OK. So now I have this composition here. Um, don't worry that it shows up as low resolution until you actually render it. That's what it's going to do. So there we go. All right, and I also have underneath of that, the left ball. Make sure I turn that one on, there it is. And I'll hit the space bar to render that up, and there we go. So we can see that I have both of them there, but you can only see one at a time when I turn both of them on. So that's where a mask comes into play. And it's really easy to create a mask inside of After Effects, but um, it's a little tricky because it's, finicky. So I want you to pay close attention to the following details. First of all, select the top movie. You can click on it right in your comp window here. And then see the rectangle up here where my mouse is? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down shift and then double click on that tool and it automatically creates a mask for me. So I can see the mask here now and the mask is actually selected. So before doing anything else, what you're going to do is you're going to click on one of the borders of the mask and then hold down shift and then move the mask over to reveal what lies underneath. And now if I deselect and I play my video, you can see that I have both of them together. All right, now let's create our screen in screen. And I'm going to create two of them, and I'll put them over here on my left view. I kind of planned for that, so let's go ahead and do that now. So what we'll do is I'm going to take this new composition that we made, and it's, you can see here it's called right ball, but I don't want it to be called right ball. I'm going to call it my, uh, my final, my comp ball bounce final. So I'm going to click on it and then hit the return or enter button and rename it. And we'll call this 
comp ball bounce underscore final. All right, so that creates this new composition. Now here's what's cool about After Effects. I can actually create a composition from a composition. So if I click and drag on this and I drag it down to the new comp button, it actually becomes part of the composition. And you can see that it behaves as a single layer video now. So that's great. Now what I want to do is I want to bring in my actual footage. So that is the comp ball bounce composition. So I'll click over here again and I'm going to drag this into this, but you can see it's too big and it's covering it. So I'm going to scale it. So I'll hit S for scale and I'll scale the video down to whatever size I want it to be. And then I can click and drag on the video to move it to where I want it to be. So there we are. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my, um, my roto footage. So I've got that right here. There it is. That's the ref footage. So let's go and grab that, the ref footage comp, and we'll click and drag that into this composition as well and scale it down by the same amount. So I'll just hit S and I'll type in 15. There we go. And then I'm going to drag this underneath of this video here. Now, what's really cool about After Effects is that it also behaves like an image editor. So what I could do is I could select both of these compositions and I can go to my Align tool. And I'm going to do that by going to Window Align. And you'll see that that shows up right here. And what I'll do is I'll line the videos horizontally just to make sure that they line up perfectly. And then what I can do is I could play back the video. And what I'll do is I'll turn off the sound on both of these. And there we have it. I've got my original reference footage up here in the left uh, top corner. Underneath of it, I have my my rotoscoped footage and you can see that I interpreted it a little bit and then I have my actual executed 3D animation footage. So the final thing that I would do with this is I would label the video. I know there's a lot of instructions in this tutorial but the cool thing is you can pause it and then go back to it. So um, let's hit space to stop the playback and I'll go and select my text tool and I'm going to use my floor as my label here. So um, what I'll do is I'll choose my font, my font that I want. I'm going to use Myriad Pro. Um, and, um, and I'm just going to go ahead and type here. And I'll call this um, Comparative Ball Bounce. Oh, why is that not showing up? Oh, because it's not. There we are. Let's try that one more time. Um, so there we are. We'll double click here. Comparative ball bounce oops nice typing all right there we go and, uh, and then I'll put my name now I might have to resize that which is fine I can just do that here I'll make it 60 that oops let's select the text first good job there I'll try that one more time let's try 60 maybe even a little bit smaller than that let's try 48 Hey, there it is. And then you can change the color of the font if you want. I'll make it black. There we are. And then I'm going to click on my move tool and click and drag that into my floor here. And I'd say that that's looking pretty good. Um, once again, if you want, what you can do is you can align the footage. So uh, go to window align one more time. And uh, this time you can align your layer to the composition. So I'll just make sure that it's centered. And there we go. Deselect it, make sure that it's the same length as my composition. And let's go ahead and play that and see how it looks. All right, so there you have it. Now I've put everything together. It's labeled, everything's good. Now let's go ahead and put this um, into um, a format that we can upload to Blackboard. So um, to do that, we'll go to Composition, Add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. We'll click on that. 
That will launch Adobe Media Encoder. We'll just wait for it here for a second. I'll try that one more time. Which I'm going to say, oh, there we are. There it is right there. So I, I got a little impatient. I'm currently, I'm set to JPEG uh, sequence. I don't want that. So what I want to do is I want to choose H264. Um, I'll go with the match source high bit rate. And then I just want to choose where I'm going to put the file. So obviously I'm going to put that into my movies folder in my project. And we're going to call this, or we're going to name this the following way. Posthumous Terry underscore comp ball bounce underscore final. And I'll hit save and I'll hit the green arrow and it will only take a few seconds to do this. And then we're done. So there you have it. You know, we shoot our reference footage. We rotoscope the footage. We, uh, we actually execute the animation in 3D in Maya. And then we put it all together in After Effects. That's just one way that you can do that. You can do it in Premiere. You can do it in Blender. There's a whole host of programs that you could actually use to put this together. But this is the way that I do it. So anyway, good luck with that. If you need, make sure that you pause and rewind. And, um, and I hope it goes well.